Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman, the combat system.com, bringing all kinds of catch wrestling and grappling action. Going over Uma Plata, rolling Uma Plata today. I do Uma Plata's two different ways. For my guard, I go a slow way where my hip is on my side. Um, when you go fast, you just go on your back like uh, traditional gi style jiu jitsu wise, but try and roll fast. There is a difference, okay? This is used anytime you get in this position where a guy's basically on a single or where your, your side to side or even if you're here where his arm is wrapped on the outside of both your legs. Wrapped on one leg but on the outside of your legs. Because depending on where his arm position is depends on a lot of different things you can do. Okay, crucifixes and everything if it's on the inside, all kinds of different things. Okay, but it's on the outside here. So if he's here and he's trying to drive in and to take me down, what do you do for a rolling on a plot? is you're going to dive your hand, okay, dive, and monkey roll, dive your hand to his elbow and kick your leg up to the sky. Over so this angle. So you're going to dive your arm, dive your hand, and cup his elbow, okay, cup the elbow, kick your legs, and do a tight shoulder roll. Here. Okay, and then right away sit up to the seatbelt and wrist control. I already had it stuffed, I could feel it in my stomach. Okay, that's one time a little bit of stomach comes in handy. Look here. He's here driving in. I could wrestle him and go heavy on his head and go out. Or if we just came to this position right away like we're in a scramble, I might want to keep the momentum going. Tuck and roll. Tuck. Grab behind that elbow. Okay, tuck under there. Peek it off to the sky. Triangle him down. Hand to wrist. Okay, to stuff it. Seatbelt. Now, finish the plot, I'm gonna keep up momentum going and come in here. Since that's stuffed pretty good, I can reach my hands in here, grab an S grip, and wrap that shoulder forward. Okay, here. Okay? Um, there's all kinds of different finishes. If his hand slips out, you don't want it to, but if his hand slips out, you just pinch your knees together and do an elbow break here. Okay, I would be in here or S grip, okay, if I can. But there's a way of attacking the elbow. So anytime the hand slips out, there's still potential for a submission, okay? He's in on the single, heads on the inside. I'm gonna tuck and roll, kick up, seat off, go for the finish here, okay? From here, okay, I might go something in here. Pass this and stretch it. Okay, guy got long hair like this on the street, bash his face in the mat. Okay, I might work under here, just do a lat stretch. Okay, sometimes you can come in here and do a short choke on the throw. If you have longer arms, then Japan and Shudo, I've seen it finish with a rear naked choke in this position. So, yeah, let's go out here, follow this one. You could be defending a single leg takedown standing up. So if the guy comes in on a single, okay, if I kick my leg to the outside, I got head pressure here, but he's driving forward with momentum, I can tuck and go right away. Here. Okay, and then work. If I can get in here, ask grip here, and then finish the lock. Okay. Here, stretch him. Here, whatever. Okay, if you want to pull up on his forehead, his nose. You can always do nasty stuff to throw. Okay, here I lost it, it's not as deep. So it's not so much a shoulder lock now, now it's an elbow break. Okay, and he's seat belted here, so he can't shoulder up. If he does shoulder, go ahead, shoulder up. If he does shoulder up, right, I can try to sit here on and then do an elbow break, baby on. Okay, wrist down, stomp. This is still falling behind his elbow. So you gotta be ready to follow that up, just in case you mess up and then a seatbelt him appropriately and he manages to move. Show that again from the feet. And on single leg. He's on a single leg. I'm getting defense whether I throw that wizard in. I'm here, good defense. MMA, flying knee, whatever. But we're just talking rolling in the plot enough. So you tuck and roll. Drive forward with some momentum. Here, loft it a little bit in position. That's grip there. Take the lock. Forehead. Let's see. 
Maybe you got a weird position here. Cruise plot in here. Still working here. So you can always end up in funky positions. It's not necessarily always the traditional position, but you got a guy locked up, catch wrestling stuff. Think about what you can do. If I wanted to hit and grind, okay, play with pressure points, chokes, tear noises out of there. So let's do a warm up from the ground. Rolling in the plot, you cut the elbow, you monkey roll. Anytime someone's giving you energy, either wrestle back into the guy, spall out of there, or if you feel like you want to go for it, man, you go for it. Okay. See, he's hiding his arm, I can't get under there, so I might have to just go for a lock, get something on his head and his face. Okay. Okay, so even if that slips out a little, you know, ideally you want it here. Ideally you want it there, for the shoulder. One more time, standing. Got a single, driving, 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 hopping around. Okay, so you see where you end up. So we're rolling with the plot again. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, look for all my catch wrestling uh, DVDs at thecombatsystem.com.